Hey guys, Jeff Disher, real estate broker with the Disher Group at Douglas Element. And today I want to discuss a way that we here at the Disher Group approach our uh, buyers and how we approach the properties we help them buy. And uh, what that is, is a three-step process. So we look through uh, three separate lenses when approaching real estate for our buyers, whether they're first-time home buyers, second home buyers, investors, whatever they are, we look at their properties from three separate lenses. What are those lenses? Well, the first is gonna be your buyer's lens. So as a buyer, what they are looking for. The second is gonna be from a seller's lens, which means when I go to buy, sell this property for my buyer in the future, what's the saleability? Is there anything that could be hinder the sale or that would be an issue or a challenge in the future when, I, when it comes time to sell this home. And the third would be uh, from an investment standpoint, meaning that when I do sell it, will you make money? Are you in an area that will appreciate? Are you in an area um, that is likely to have a boom or, or is gonna hold the value that it currently has so you don't lose money over time when you go to sell? Uh, and from another standpoint from investment is how low can we get the property? How long has it been on the market? which we'll jump into. So let's start with the first one, which is going to be a buyer's lens. So when we sit down and do our consultation, obviously we're going to ask a lot of questions. We really want to know what the buyer is looking for, not just what they're looking for, but what type of lifestyle they're looking for. So what do they want? Do they want to be uh, in the suburbs with parks and track homes, or do they want to be in the city with loud hustle, bustle, and a high rise? What is it? What are their needs? What lifestyle are they looking for? So we try to check as many boxes as possible when we're going to go through the buyer's lens, because they're going to tell us they want you know, um, three bedrooms, two bath, 1,200 square feet, two car garage, whatever that list of items are, that's through the buyer's lens. So we, as agents, when we go in the MLS, we are gonna put those glasses on and look and envision that perfect house that our client's looking for. And when we find it, we show it to them and hopefully they like it and they write an offer. So the first is gonna be a buyer's lens. Make sure we check as many boxes for that buyer to make sure the buyer likes the property because they're gonna be living there, right? Second is the selling standpoint or the selling lens or the seller's lens, which means if I have to sell this property in five, seven, 10 years, are there any challenges? Are there any functional obsolescence? Are there any power lines over? Is it next to the trolley line or, or a loud intersection? What could be the possible threats or challenges in the future when I decide to sell that home? And a lot of buyers, they don't look at that type of stuff. They look at a home, they picture yourself living there, they look at how shiny it is, how cool it is, and they don't necessarily look at some of the stuff that as agents, as a professional, we should be trained to look for. Like I said, um, nuances that are in the neighborhood, barking dogs, power lines, um, military bases that could be possibly allowed. So look from a selling standpoint, again, how could um, this home be a challenge to sell in the future? If not, and there's 20 offers in the property, maybe it's not a challenge, but I still want uh, my agents to put on that lens so they can see how we're gonna sell that property in the future because we don't wanna be stuck with something and we don't wanna sell our buyers something they can't sell in the future. Uh, and the third lens is going to be the investment lens. What does that mean? That means when we do sell that property, if we're getting it for five hundred thousand today, in ten years, will it be worth seven fifty? Will it be worth six fifty? Will it be worth a million? Or will it be worth four fifty? Will it go down? What are the trends in that area as far as an investment standpoint? Will that property appreciate? Look at what's happened in the last 20, 30 years in some of these neighborhoods. What has been the trend? Has it appreciated? Has it went up? Has it went down? Look at trends to make sure that when you're buying this for your client, they're not gonna be stuck with something they can't sell. And furthermore, they're not gonna be stuck with an investment they're underwater in. So future value and, and saleability of that property is huge. And the other side is when you're buying that property, what type of deal can you get? So you are buying an investment. You always met, your home is a place to live. Obviously, on the second tier, it's going to be an investment always because you're putting a large sum of money and you're paying and obligating yourself to a big mortgage. So make sure that that property, um, from an investment standpoint, you want to get the best deal up front. And your agent can do that by checking tax records, see what they paid for it, how much they've been in, uh, how much they've been, how long they've been in the home. There's a bunch of factors we can look at by talking to the agent, chopping them down, market time. What is the best deal we can get that house for? Also look at comps. Comps are very important. They tell what the property, a snapshot of what the value in the neighborhood is. We always wanna get the best value. They always say, you don't make money when you sell, you make when you buy. So from an investment standpoint, when you're with your buyer, always take all that into consideration and paint a picture with the best possible price and terms you can get for your client. So hopefully that helped. And again, that's just one of the differences that we use here at the district group to help you find your property is the three lenses. Have any more questions? Reach out, always here to answer them. Be sure to follow me on all social media, including Instagram, which is I Sell Real Estate. Jeff Disher is my Facebook. Jeff Disher is my YouTube. Until then, see you guys next time.